the effects of hormones on behavior, in particular the sex hormones like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and the fluctuation of those hormones in the female brain. PMS is the effect of the menstrual cycle when the progesterone at the few days before onset of menses, the drop in the progesterone, the average age of onset of menses in uh, the United States in Caucasian girls is age 12.1. Uh, so not until they're 15, 16 do they usually even notice any of what we typically call PMS. After that, between ages 12 and 14 or 15, the ovaries are not ovulating every single month. They have a lot of cycles that don't have ovulation. Some of them do, but lots of them don't. So you can't get PMS unless you have progesterone. At the day of delivery, that 150, 180,000 level of progesterone crashes down when you deliver the baby and the placenta. And for one out of five mothers, that huge drop sets them up then for having um, depression or anxiety postpartum. Some women can have bad PMS before they have a baby, and then after they have a baby, they don't have it anymore. Or the opposite can happen. We don't understand why. She never had it before, and then after she's had a baby or two, she ends up having that, having PMS at the end of her cycle. So we, we treat that the same way as we would in a younger woman. One of the main, main cornerstones of uh, treating women or anybody with depression or anxiety is to really focus on making sure that they're getting deep sleep, restful sleep, uh, and especially during the perimenopause and menopause when the hot flashes or changes in the um, your temperature control. The SSRI medications, those medicines tend to tweak the um, PMS at the end of the menstrual cycle for reasons that don't necessarily have to do with being an antidepressant. The reason that we need to know about them is, is anxiety disorders and depression in terms of mood, in terms of the types of illnesses I treat in my clinic. The hormone fluctuations can trigger those to come out um, and if we can modify those, then we can modify a person's, um, her depression or her anxiety or her sleep.